good. He says his liver's acting up a bit, but, you know. Ah, good point. And how is poor dear Mr. Kidd? His gallbladder spent a rather peaceful night. Ah, that's good, that's good. Splendid, splendid. However, he complains of a shooting pain in his sacroiliac. Oh, good morning. Isn't he the Kidley of Kidley's corn plasters? Kidley's beans, madam, if you don't mind. Oh. I ate some once. It's very tasty. Thank you, madam. Ah, cheap us. Good morning. How is Mr. Kidley this morning? Up and downish, thank you, sir. His liver was a bit squeamish during the night. This night. Did he invent the Kidley bean? His grandfather did, madam. I understand Mr. Kidley inherited quite a little money. Twenty million dollars, madam. I shouldn't call that a little. Please, please. Yes, uh, ladies, ladies, please, please. This is for Mr. Kidley. Is that you, Jeepers? Yes, sir. Oh, Jeepers. I'm a very sick man. Very sick. You take that. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. Normal, sir. Oh, but it can't be. 98 to 610, sir, right on the nose. Oh, that thing's broken again. If I may say so, sir, it's all poppycock. You're as healthy as a fire horse. Oh. Oh, is that so? Well, why do you think I came to Switzerland? To yodel? And how about yesterday, that dizzy spell when I fell downstairs? You saw me yourself. Anyone would fall downstairs, sir. Eight aspirins before breakfast. Well, now, don't quibble. If you had what I've got... What have you got, sir? Well, I... Well, you wait till I see Dr. Schmidt this afternoon. He'll tell you what I've got. Dr. Schmidt. Yes, Dr. Schmidt is the biggest stomach man in Europe. Very well, sir. Whatever he says goes. Not getting a chill, sir. No, I forgot to shake the bottle. Don't let me forget that, Jeepers. And here, give me my bad gas water. Oh. Oh. There. A nice bag and a hot water bottle right away. Jeepers. Oh, not to bed again, sir. It's all sunshiny outside, so the birds are singing. Oh, shut the window. I hate them. And besides, they're off key. Close them out. Mr. Kidley staying here? Yes, madam. Rooms 201, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Get out, Hannah. This is it. Okie dokie. Oh, sir. Sir, it's her, sir. It's she. She's here, sir. Sir, she's here. Jeepers, this is no time for your romances. Get the ice bag and cool off. But, sir, sir, she's here. The, 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 the one from San Moritz, the one with the four names. Marco? Yes, it's, she's here? Yes, Mrs. Jones de Beaupre, Evans of Marco, sir. She's followed us. Well, where is she? I don't she's see her. She's in this hotel, sir. In the hotels. Oh, Jeepers, I'm cursed. Every time a woman finds out I've got $20 million in bad health, she falls in love with me. The butterflies were easy to brush off, sir, but this one's a black widow. Well, don't stand there. Do something. Tell her I died, anything. I knew it was a mistake to encourage her, sir. I did not. It was an accident. Room 312 and 412. Anybody can get off the wrong floor. Well, answer the door. No, don't answer the door. Lock it. Lock it, jeepers. Don't stand. John! John! 
What? Mrs. Marco. <laughs> well, what happy wind blows you to bad gas water? Never mind that. What happy wind blew you out of San Moritz? Well, you see, I, there was a train, and then uh, there was a doctor, and he told me that... <laughs> and I'm... Well, I mean, didn't I, Jeepers? Oh, absolutely, Mrs. Marco. <laughs> Will you get out? Yes, ma'am. No, not you. I mean this... this creepers. Jeepers? We'll get rid of him. Oh, sure. We're, huh? After we're married. Oh, if, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I understood. I mean, what about your husband? Pierre? Oh, we won't have to worry about Pierre. Oh, we won't. <laughs> well, well. Darn, it was fate. Everything was settled that wonderful night you danced with me. I knew how you felt when you held me close and whispered, you, you, it's got to be you. Yes, but that was a song, Mrs. Marco. You, you, it's got to be you, you wonderful you, no one but you. Don't you remember? I remember. Darling, of course it's going to be me. Oh. And then you remember later when you... Oh, did I? <laughs> well, that was the elevator. You see, I, I just went and I got off. It'll happen. John, do you know it first attracted me to you? Yeah, well, I... I guess you had 20 million reasons, eh, Mrs. Marco? You're the only one in the whole world who believes in me. The others always pointing accusing fingers just because of de Beaupre. De Beaupre? Yes, he was the one before Pierre. Oh, he is the one they said you shot. It's not true. It's a wicked, slanderous lie. Oh, I should say it is. Just because you were there and there were holes in him, Mrs. Marco, is no reason why people should... I was acquitted. Just because I'm impulsive and quick-tempered, people talk. Yes, and with you being an Olympic pistol champion, they... You too! Oh, pardon me. John, what you just said is what the police said. You don't dare to think that I... Why, no, Mrs. Marco. I think you're as innocent as a child. A, a small child, way, way down... We're going to be very happy together. Don't you think so, John? You're the type of woman I admire. I'd, I'd marry you just like that. If it weren't for... If it weren't for what? Well, if it weren't for your present husband, Mr. Marco. Oh, I thought I told you. Oh, poor Pierre. Yes, poor Pierre. I... Poor Pierre, what happened to him? He fell off the Matterhorn. Oh, that's too... That's a mountain. 13,669 feet. He was never found. Did they look? Were you there, Mrs. Marco? I saw it all. It was horrible. But when it happened, I... I wasn't a foot behind him. Think of that. I'll bet you could have reached right out and touched him, eh, Mrs. Marco? Easily. Seven years. Seven years. That's how long we'll have to wait, Mrs. Marco. When a husband disappears, it's got to wait seven years. Not in mountain climbing. I'd be willing to bet. Oh, you'd lose. I stopped in Geneva to find out. I had the same lawyers as the League of Nations. Oh. I'm entirely free. Oh, well, look, Mrs. Marco, you wouldn't want to marry me. I'm a hopeless invalid. I'm liable to die just like that. You mistrust I... me. You act as though you don't want to marry me. Why, well, I've told everyone I came here to... Shh! Don't... Oh, I must control myself. I mustn't lose my temper. No, no, don't do that. No! Uh, oh. <laughs> you do intend to marry me. Why? Don't you, John? Well, uh, 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 let... I'll get it. I... You do? Don't you, John? Oh, sure. No other thought ever entered my mind, Mrs. Oh. Marco. Then that's settled. I'll go and change. Yes. And then we'll set the date. Yeah. Yeah. Jeepers! I gathered from what I overheard, sir, that we're in a slight miasma, sir. Miasma's right. I should advise a firm stand. I had a brother-in-law, since deceased, who sponged lions for a living, sir. He always said... Oh, shut up, Jeepers. Feel my pulse. It's doing that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Waltzing? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'd better drop down to the chemist, sir, and get your acidity test. Oh, yes. I'll meet you at Dr. Schmidt's. Good. And as for Mrs. Marco, I should tell her to go fry an egg. Yeah, and get shot down like a clay pigeon. The coward dies a thousand deaths. The hero dies but once. Do hurry, Marjorie. Oh, yes, for these lovely little fish. 
Doesn't it frighten the fish? Not at all, madam. They grow to love it. The acidity test for Mr. Kidley. Oh, of what does it do? Just one moment, madam, please. Canoodle, knick, kipper, kidley. Ah, here they are. Ah, now I remember what I want. Corn plasters. But the gentleman was... Oh, but I was here first. Excuse, please. Now, these we recommend. Oh. That would be two simulcus, please. Here you are. And ten simulcus. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I, I've been waiting here for the analysis for Kipper. He's been uh, a little bit off color lately, hasn't you, Kipper? Oh, boy, poor hey? little Poochie Woochie. <coughs> Why, you nasty little dog, you. The name is Kipper, wasn't it? Yeah, Kipper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kidley, Kornpussel, <laughs> Kritzenheimer. Yeah, yeah. I was certain that was here a moment ago. Knudel, Knick, Kidley, Kornpussel. I can't understand it. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, very good. Yeah, but doctor, I'm worried about those three white spots. I am not worried about them. You're not? No. They are the buttons on your under trousers. Oh, <laughs> that is all. Step out. Here, hurry up. Kidley's acidity test. Here I am, sir. Ah, here we are. I really want this with these. But this is marvelous. Ah, uh, what is it, Doc? You've got 162 acidity, three times normal. Oh, well, that's fine. That's great. Or is it? Is it? My friend, with your acidity, you can digest bones. You mean bones? Uh, but I don't like bones. You not only can, but you will. Your bones and everything else, you will completely digest yourself. Uh, you, you mean I'm, I'm going to pass away? Pass away. You will disappear. Thinner and thinner. Smaller and smaller. Until finally... Now I know what is the matter with you. You have got acidatus canis, the acidity of a dog. A dog? It is very, very rare. Oh, very rare. Not once in 700 years did it turn up. Acidity. Acid mouth. Acid. Ah, here we are. The last case was a Greek shepherd boy. His name was Pinopolis. Oh, what happened to him? Unfortunately, nobody knows. On the last day, he went out with his sheep. Yes. And they found only his footprints. Yeah. Well, look, Doc. I mean, how long have I got? Oh, 10, 20, maybe 30 days. <laughs> days? Oh. But why should you care? In the history of medicine, you will live forever. You are the first human dog. I... 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 <coughs> Uh, what was that? Ah, I don't know. Jeepers. Doc, Doc, never mind writing me up. What I want to know is... Look, uh, I... the body is still round and fat. The face is still smooth. But in the eyes already show the ravages of... of... We've got to give it a name. I call it Schmidt's disease. After you. After me. Down the centuries, students will read of this. Side by side, we will live through all eternity. Schmidt and his disease. We must send it to the journal. Oh, yes, all the newspapers, the whole world. Doc, look, look, Doc, it started already. I'm shrinking. I, I... That is my hat. Oh, oh, I did. If I may say so, sir, I don't think you put up much of a fight. Jeepers, you talk like a fool. Have you ever seen Mrs. Marco at target practice? Why, she can shoot the head off a pin at 100 yards. But didn't you tell her, sir, that you only had 30 days to live? Yeah, that was my fatal mistake. Three minutes after I told her, she had me signing on a lot of dotted lines. I'll uh, fix it with flowers and it will look beautiful. 
All right. Now, uh, what about the time? I can push you in into your gentleman at 3.30. Oh, couldn't you make it at 4 o'clock? Marrying in a half hour has been unlucky for no, me. No, impossible. At 4 o'clock, I marry His Highness Prince Smirnoff to a young lady from Texas. <laughs> That's where the cows come from. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Kidley and I will be here at 3.30. They say cremation's awfully nice, sir. Jeepers. Just trying to be helpful, sir. Well, stop it. Did we get a cigar? Yes, indeed, sir. Shall I smoke it for you? No, I'll smoke it myself. What's, what does it matter now? That's the spirit, sir. As the poet says, come fill the cup for the birds on the wing. That's good. I'm just beginning to realize what a swell old world this is now that I've only got 30 days. 29 now, sir. Jeepers, I've got to do something about my money. If I leave it to Mrs. Marco, she'll use it to start a war. I'm telling you, you'll do like I say. You'll marry Smirnoff if I have the hawk tired. Oh, no, just I do, I exactly do. as I say. No! Look out! Well, well. Well, I don't blame her. Whatever it is, he's wrong. Home Jeepers. Yes, sir. Be mighty proud. Why, Smirnoff's folks goes back 40 generations. Well, why don't he go back with them? <laughs> don't do this. Don't do that. Don't wear this. Don't wear that. <laughs> Trying to make a lady out of me. Always oh, licking my hand like a St. Bernard dog. Oh, I hate him. Now, we didn't traipse all the way from Eagle Heights, Texas, to bad gas washer just so you could back out now. But, Pa, I love Henry Munch. Oh. Oh, Henny Penny, they're trying to pull us apart. Oh, Henny Coochie Woochie. Ah, Coochie Woochie Woochie. Oh, Must no, 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 no. bus driver from Eagle Heights to Silver Falls. I don't care. I love him just the same. That Smirnoff's nothing but a dressed up coyote. Dressed or undressed, you're marrying him at 4 o'clock. Well, Henry was good enough, we were nothing but poor scrub farmers. And ever since we struck oil and got to wearing shoes, You've been getting mighty nose high, Pa. You're going back home a princess, just like I told them. Mm. My hooky, they'll let me into country club and everything then. I'll show them. That bunch all was looking down on me. If you could only patch up a man as easy as you can a bicycle tire. <laughs> Imagine me laughing in my condition. You're going through with it, and that's my final say. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I'll. I'll run away. I'll. I'll do something desperate. <laughs> You saved my life. But why did you do it? Why didn't you let me alone? Uh, you, you, you can't even swim. Apart from his morning tub, miss, he's never been in the water in his life. Well, then why did you do it? Oh, it was marvelous. I mean, wonderful, but... Oh, but why did you do it? Well, you see, I, any man would have done the same. I couldn't get the inner tube off my neck, sir. Look, look, you. You, don't you ever do anything like that, no matter what your troubles are. This world's a pretty nice place to live in. Think of the sunshine and the bees and the butterflies and the breeze and the... And the what's that thing about the cup? 
Come, fill the cup, the bird's on the wing. Yeah, you see the bird's on the wing. What bird? Well, uh, what bird, Jeepers? Oh, just a figure of speech, sir. Come along, sir. We mustn't precipitate your demise. Pneumonia? Come on, you're liable to catch your death of cold. If you... Or me. <coughs> <coughs> I just wish you knew my Henry. He's so big and strong and, and cute. Why, he'd do anything for me. You know, when we were kids, he... He ate a beetle, just because I asked him to. Sounds like a handy fellow to have around a garden. Yeah, but that's all over with now. At 4 o'clock, I've got to marry Smirnoff. Yeah, but this is 1939. You don't have to go around jumping off bridges. You don't know Pa. But what are my troubles compared to yours? I mean, you being a human dog and everything. Yeah, Acidus Canis. You know why we're sitting here, Mickey? You know what I'm doing? Uh -uh. I'm digesting myself. Huh? Bones and all. I'm getting smaller and smaller. First a pygmy, then a radiator ornament, then a watch charm, and finally... Just a memory. I'm the last of the vanishing Americans. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, Mr. Kidley. Oh, thanks, Mickey. Nobody else cares. Why, even the hotel people asked me to move. Afraid I might give the hotel a bad name. Told me to go to some other place and die. Oh, well, I wouldn't be afraid of them. I'd, I'd do it right here in this room if I wanted to. Oh, gee, you're a nice girl, Mickey. I like you. And I like Henry, too. You do? Jeepers? Yes, sir? Another glass. Another glass? Jeepers. For you. Oh, thank you, sir. Let's drink to Henry. Munch? Munch. Munch. That couldn't be Pa, could it? The Kidley no. Suite? Who is it? It's the Arco May. Holy mackerel. I forgot all about her. What does she want? It's about your nuptials, sir. She wants to know if you're dressed. Tell her no. Tell her anything. Tell her I'm not dressed. Not even my socks. You see, Mrs. Marco, uh, Mr. Kidley is a little delayed. No, not decayed, madam. Delayed. And I want him to be ready for the ceremony. What'd she say? What'd she say? She says you better be ready darn soon, sir. And I didn't like the way she said it. Well, Jeepers, Jeepers, do something. Think of something. Yeah, well, what's the matter? What's the matter? She, she, Mrs. Marco, she shoots her husband. She pushes him off mountains, and, and I've got to marry her at 3.30. But, but you don't have to marry her, do you? I don't, huh? She's the Olympic pistol champion. I can't get out of this any more than you can. I mean, we're in the same fix. Oh, why didn't you let me stay in the water? I was just beginning to do all right. All she wants is my money. She's my Smirnoff. Hey, wait a minute. There's an out. There's an out for both of us. You mean we should hold hands and jump back into the... No, no. Now, listen. Now, listen carefully, Mickey. We only have a few minutes. Yeah. How would you like to marry me? How would I... I... What? You've had too much of that spider juice. Sir. No, I haven't. But, but I can't marry you. I'm yes, thinking... you can. Here, put this on. It throws everybody for a loss. It puts the prince behind the eight ball and the pistol champion in the side pocket. Yeah, but, but, but what about Henry? Well, that's it. I can die in peace, and as soon as I'm gone, you can marry Henry, and I'll leave him barrels of money. He can buy a thousand buses. Yeah, that's... I, oh, but I don't love you. I mean, I don't even know you well. Good, you know. Well, I don't love you either. That makes it perfect. But why should you do all of this for me? Well, in the first place, I've never done anything for anybody. In the second place, it helps me too. And in the third place, oh, well, I don't know. But, but you No, no buts. You leave everything to me. All right, I will. And I'll leave everything to you. Ah, oh, gentlemen. <laughs> your Highness, I wouldn't have missed your wedding for the world. Gentlemen, you all know Kretzky. There he stands, an eloquent picture of his mission. The bulge in his right pocket, my unpaid notes. In his left pocket, my bad checks. The hollow in the middle is Kretzky. <laughs> Your Highness has saved me words. Unless the bulge in my left pocket is made good immediately after the ceremony, Your Highness will have the opportunity of entertaining the police with his priceless humor. Kretzky, I intensely dislike you and your bloodhound continually sniffing at my heels. We are sniffing for 200,000 Simelkas in bad checks. Kretzky, I have told you, you will be paid when I get my dowry. After the wedding. Oh, 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 oh. 
I'm terribly sorry. I nearly ran over. You caught me tough at times, Your Highness. I will forgive you if you make me a good wedding. Excuse me, sir. Are you the mayor? Uh, what is it? Uh, could I just speak to you for a moment? Oh, will you just pardon one me? Moment. Your Highness, pardon me, please, sir. What? What is it? There's a certain young party says she wants to get married. Well, uh, uh, a scullery maid, sir, and a butler in the same house, sir. No, no, I can't do it. I'm Thank afraid you. they'll elope unless we do something, sir. You know what with springtime and everything, Your Honor. We'd hate to lose them. But I have one wedding already at 3.30 and another one at 4.00. But it would only o'clock. take a moment if Your Honor would just hit the high spots. No, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, mm, uh, if you can make it quick, bring him in the courtroom. But uh, sneak him in the back way. Uh, if uh, your highness will pardon me one second, something very urgent uh, came up. Uh, excuse me, please, sir. I beg your pardon. A little kitchen romance. It should be amusing. Let us watch. Let's. Your head off, please. Right away, I marry you in the courtroom. Uh-uh. 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 What? Uh-uh. Here? No, no. No, not in here. Here is for the certificate only. The marriage is in the courtroom, always. Can you uh, write? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oui, 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 oui. Si, senor. Uh huh. <clears throat> All right, then. Um, then right here, your names, please. Right here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I take this man for your love, prevented husband, and live with him in sickness and health, and probably in version to your promise for first car out there in the Amen. You promise to love on and cherish as you long as you may live. Hey, yes. I do. Now you don't let the people wait. Do you take this woman for your lawful better class than the little living in sickness of poverty? You want to read your apartment? You won't be late, will he? I beg pardon, ma'am? You won't be late, will he? Oh, no, ma'am. In a manner of speaking, he's already here. You will now join hands. Hold hands. Don't we kneel? If you want to kneel, kneel, ma'am. As evidence of these promises that you have made, well, oh, no, we can skip that. <coughs> uh, by virtue of the power invest in me and by virtue of solemn promise you have made to another, I hereby pronounce you to be man and wife. You can rise now, it's all over. The bride. Let us kiss the bride. Hey, wait! Come on, we will catch him outside. Come on, the prince is going to kiss the bride. Come on. Oh, ah, ah. Come, oh, madame, you must pay the penalty. Uh-uh. Max, help me, please. Oh, now. <laughs> Mickey. Mickey! Let her alone. Huh? So. cattle boat. I didn't get much sleep, though, on account of all the mooing. Oh, Henry, who? Well, you ought to see the papers back home. They're just full of that stuff about you and that Prince Smirkoff fella. Oh, Henry. <laughs> well, nobody around here talks Texas, and I had an awful time finding you. But did I get here in time? Yes, yes, Henry. I didn't marry Smirnoff. Well, thank my lucky stars. I married Mr. Tidley. Huh? Who? Mr. K- 
Who's he? The bean man. I, I just met him. Oh, shucks. Well, what'd you marry him for? Well, because I love you, Henry. Well, I may be just a country boy, but I can't figure that one out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be right out. I'll be right out. I gotta go, Henry. You gotta go? Where are you going? I'm a honeymoon. Your honeymoon? Yeah. I, I can't explain now here, Henry. But we're going away someplace, and then Mr. Kidney's gonna die. Well, what kind of talking is that? Oh, goodbye, Henry. Goodbye. Goodbye, Henry. Well, I didn't come over here just to say goodbye. Okay, let's go. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's that? Well, it's Henry. Isn't it wonderful? He's coming on our honeymoon. Oh. Huh? Oh, uh, Henry, this is my husband, Mr. Kidley. Oh, how do you do, Henry? Right now, I ain't doing so good. Will you please come around this way and sign on this line? Mr. and Mrs. John Kitley. <laughs> and for your servant, we have something in the rear. I ain't his servant. Oh, is that funny? He thought Henry was your servant. No, this is Mr. Henry Munch. The man Mrs. Kitley's going to marry. Oh, Mr. Munch, Mr. Engelbrecht, personally welcome. M Mary. What is? Uh, Mr. Munch is Mrs. Kidley's fiance. Oh, Papa. Yes, quiet, Mama. That is not our business. Uh, Julius, uh, bring upstairs the bags. Come on, honey. Well, thank you not to call her honey. You understand? Why, Henry. Oh, isn't that sweet, Mr. Kidley? Henry's jealous. Cuckoo, darling. There's something funny up. Oh, Mama. Those Americans are always joking. <laughs> Oh, Henry, that moon. Look at the moon. Yes, big. And those mountains. Yeah, kind of high. No, Henry, it's more than that. It's... Well, look at them. Well, we got a mountain in Texas. But, Henry, this place, this night, the smell of lilac. And you sit there whittling on a hunk of wood. Well, what should I be whittling on? Well, gee, Henry, this is the first time we've ever been alone together. I mean, away from Pa. Put your arm around me, Henry. Please. Now kiss me. Oh. Henry, that's no way to do it. I mean, kiss me as if you liked it, as if you meant it. Oh, I can't do it. My heart ain't in it. Why not? Well, I can't get it out of my mind that I'm, well, that I'm kissing somebody else's wife. Makes me feel like one of them playboys. <laughs> hey, Henry, can, can you still imitate a horse? Oh, I guess I could if I tried. Go on, do it, go oh, on. Oh, no, that's kid stuff. Oh. Go on, Henry. Just one little horse, please. Well, all right. Just one. Look, Mama. The moon out and everything, and he makes like a horse. Oh, pardon me. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I, I just came out. I thought it's about time for me to kick off. I, what? I mean, turn in. Go to bed. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Mickey. Good night, Henry. Good night. Oh, Mr. Kidley, wait a minute. I'm coming right in. Good night, Henry, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. You'll see me in the morning. Hey, you! Oh, I'll tuck you in, huh? Oh, thank you. Oh, it's 
it's all right. I want you to feel nice and Very comfortable. Sweet. <laughs> it's full of feathers. Oh, yeah? Hey! Oh, Henry, doesn't Mr. Kitty look cute in his pajamas? Well, yeah, but... Uh... <laughs> he looks so cute. <laughs> I... Uh... Mr. Kidley, we gotta have a talk. All right, Henry, we'll talk in the morning. I've had a hard day out. Well, in the morning won't do, Mr. Kidley. Well, what is it? What yeah. is it? Well, I ain't happy. Why, Henry, just a minute ago you were swell when you were acting like a horse. Well, uh, well, I ain't the beating around the bush kind of a guy. If I got anything on my mind, I spit it out. Now, Henry, don't be that way. Mr. Kidley hasn't long to be with us. He hasn't long to be with us. And it's our duty to see that he's happy and... Happy? Well, what difference does it make to you whether he's happy or not? Well, after all, Henry, I am Mrs. Kidley. No. And I always say that a wife's place is in the home. Listen. Oh, Henry, you don't have to worry about me. Why, one of these mornings you'll wake up and... I'll be gone. Mr. Kidley, I've been watching you mighty close here of late. And all I got to say is that, well, you ain't been living up to your promise. You ain't getting any smaller. How is that? Oh, come in. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Mama Engel boy has to fix the breakfast herself. Oh, that's fine. Hey, breakfast. <laughs> yes, a very special breakfast for our two little double flopses. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very nice of Mama, Mr. Engelborg. <laughs> yes, it sure is. Ah. What sticks in my cry is everything he says is so wonderful, but everything I say it's, oh, Henry, oh, Henry, oh, Henry. Now, Henry, don't talk that way about Mr. Kidby. Oh, shucks. Look at me, he's getting that flower just for me, risking his life. Oh. <laughs> I got it. I'd take a chance at breaking my neck, too, if I knew I was going to die anyway. Gee, thanks. Oh. Well, there it is. Oh, thanks, Mr. Kidney. For you. In the words of the poet, you are like a flower. Oh, Mr. Kidney, that, that's so sweet. That, that's just like in the movies. Yeah. Well, it was a wrestle with me at the moment. Oh, let me help you, Mr. Kidney. You right. must be a little tired. <laughs> Let's sit down and rest a minute, huh? Yeah. Huh? Uh-uh. Well, I guess I'll run along to the hotel. You and Henry want to be alone. What for? The minute you do, you'll just start whittling. Well, that's fine talk. A fella can whittle and still be in love, I guess. You don't have to go around shouting that poetry muck all day. Oh, Henry, that's where you're wrong. Women are romantic, sentimental. It's up to us men to humor them, say pretty things. Oh, I suppose you could give me a lesson. Oh, I bet you'd be good at it, too. Well, I have kind of been around. Frankly, Henry, I think you could use a few lessons. For instance. Well, for a starter, now supposing you were going to take a girl in your arms. Uh -huh. Now you hold her tenderly, gently. Yeah, Henry, you handle me as if I was a bus. Oh, bosh. Now watch, Henry. Now supposing I'm you. Now you hold her like this, and then you kiss her. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> you see, Henry? Uh-uh. No? Oh. No. Well, show him again, Mr. Kidney. All right. Yeah, wait a minute. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> there. Now, you do it, Henry. Now, I'll sit here and watch. <laughs> no, sir. I don't have to kiss my girl in front of a whole crowd of people. Well, it's only Mr. Kidney, Henry. No. Oh, come on, please. Oh, well, all right. Ah. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> oh, well, I can't get started. Maybe you haven't turned on your ignition. No. There. No, that's not it, Henry. Uh, would you show him again, please, Mr. Oh, Kennedy? of course. Anything at all. There, hold that. This one. Right. Anytime you get the idea, Henry, just cut in. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't see that he's doing anything that I didn't do. Well, it's just something or other that I can't explain, Henry. 
When he does it, it's like a bunch of trained wildcats. But when you do it, it's more like a wild mice. Yeah. Oh, well, I watched him close, and I did everything that he did. And I'll bet you if you had your eyes closed, you couldn't tell us apart. All right, Henry. I'll prove it to you. Oh. Somebody give me a hanky. You got a hanky? Yeah, oh, yes, I have one. Here. Her, no, her, her, her. Oh, pardon me, pardon me. All right, now, I'll tie this tight. Now, you come around in front, Mr. Kelly. All right. And the both of you step back now. And you sneak up one at a time and kiss me, and I'll tell you just who it is. All right, step back. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Well, don't go away. Okay. Now I'll count up to ten, and then one of you come up and kiss me. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You ready? Well, come on. <laughs> That's Henry. Oh, that's Mr. Kidley. <laughs> Ready again. <laughs> that's Henry. That's Mr. Kidley. <laughs> yeah, that's Henry still handing me like I was a buzz. Why, Henry, how dare you take your shirt off? Mr. Kidley! Henry! Yes, sir. I can leave immediately, sir. Uh, just a minute, sir. I'll write it down. Ingleborg House. Ingleborg. I've got it, sir. Forgive the liberty, sir, but uh, how is everything? Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Well, don't forget, sir, the bird on the wing and all that, sir. No, sir, no one but Dr. Schmidt. He's been bothering me quite a bit. Oh, he wants to know if, when it happens, he can have your stomach. Wants to put it in a bottle or something. Yes, I told him I'd have to ask you first, sir. Don't worry, sir, I'll travel incognito. Oh, Mrs. Marco found her car, sir, just where you abandoned it. Oh, no, sir, not a soul knows of your whereabouts. But I've got it. Ingleborg House. At last I have got it. Ingleborg House. Where's that? Ingleborg. Thank you, dear. Come on, let's go. Hurry. Hey, don't you think it's about time we ought to go to bed? Huh? Oh. oh. Hey, hey. Papa said, I do. Now, the little 
tra-la-la, has a little ooh-ha-ha. He can only say da-da, but he's more and more. Hope that he will grow to be a great big ooh-ha-ha. Now see here. Once a little tra-la-la met a great big ooh-ha-ha. She looked up and said, aha, you're, no, you're the one for me. Then the little tra-la-la kissed great big ooh-ha-ha in the village of the stars late in harmony. One day in springtime, their love dream came true. Church bells were ringing when the tra-la-la ooh-ha-ha said, I do. Now the little tra-la-la he can only say da da, but his ma and pa hope that he will grow to be tra la la, ooh pa pa. Hope that he will grow to be a great big ooh pa pa. Stop it now, stop it. Oh, see, oh, Please. Mr. Kidley, what do you mean by traipsing around with my girl past one o'clock in the morning? <laughs> oh, we never had such a time, Henry. We went to a cheese festival. Yeah, we had wine. And singing. And, and cheese. Cheese festival? Well, that ain't cheese, Mr. Kidley. Oh, oh that. Well, uh, you see, we stopped. <laughs> oh, yeah, Henry. We stopped, and, and just now when I was singing a song, I, I gave him a little, um, I, well, you were right there. I mean, uh... Now, Mickey, hush. I've heard enough. Now, you run right along upstairs to bed. Mickey? But I... Mickey? But I... Henry, Mickey. you can't order your wife around like that. Oh, I can't, huh? Well, she ain't my wife. She's your wife. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Say, thanks for reminding me. Mickey, go to bed. Oh, Mickey? <laughs> Good night, boys. Good night. Good night, Mickey. Well, I guess that's all, man. Here you are. Thanks. It was a lot of fun. We'll get Mrs. Kidley and do it again sometime, huh? Oh, no, you won't. Now that she's gone, I want to tell you, you're mighty fortunate I just don't tear you to pieces. Why, Henry? And with my bare hands. Excuse me, please. She must close. Well, close it. Hey, you, now, wait a minute. Oh, I was just going... You're just going to listen to me. As long as we're in Engelborg, you're not getting out of my sight again. No, sir, not for two seconds. <laughs> you think you're going? Oh, I... <laughs> Drink. I think you can get some water out of this. Well, you've been up for water every two minutes. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I want to see Mickey. I've got something to tell her. A man can talk to his own wife, can't he? No. Henry, I know what's the matter with you. You don't trust me. That's what's the matter with you. Well, you're darn tootin' I don't. No, I don't want any trouble with you. You get back here in bed. Oh. Uh, you and your old Whitlands. I'd rather sleep with a cracker eater. It's not comfortable. No. Oh, now, wait a minute. Just a second. I have a little something to say about this. What are you doing? There, that'll fix that. Oh, Henry, this is so unjust. Not so tight. Leave a little blood in there. My circulation is practically to stand still now. Now, oh, hush. 
Good night. Good night. I'm going to put my foot on top of yours. And don't you move once the rest of the night. Fifty some elkers. Well, what do I have to do for... Take off your shoe. I want to use your foot. My feet? Foot. Honey, you're not asleep, are you? Honey, I've got to talk to you. Maybe I've got no right, but after the night, well, no matter who gets hurt, we've got to face it. We belong to each other. Honey, please talk to me. You see, Mickey, I... Gee, you look tired. I get... Listen, Mama. Mr. Kittley, please. Uh, well, I, I, I was, and <laughs> I was, yeah. wrong room, I guess. Sorry. I don't care. I don't care if he's digesting his entire family. I am insulted. I am the one that is being squeezed. 
right under my nose, on my own wedding day, she marries this gentleman in the red pajamas. Then when he goes fit, she marries this gentleman in the striped pajamas. And where am I? I am standing around with egg on my face. And if he has egg on his face, somebody's tossed a whole omelet on mine. I don't like it. Oh, but Mr. Kitty he doesn't love you. Why, look what he did. Rather than marry you, he, he married me. Yeah, that's the part of this whole thing that burns me up. Mr. Kittley, what I want to know is, what are you going to do about this mess you got us into? Yeah, well, it's all very simple. You're all taken care of in my will. Well, how so? Yeah. Henry, I'm not going to waste a lot of time telling you how much I admire you, because I don't. But I'm going to leave you enough money to choke a horse, and I hope it does choke you. <laughs> Mr. Kittley, I resent that. We are now back at the front from where we started. I'm still with egg over my face. I know. I'm wiping that off in paragraph three. I know marriage with you is a business proposition, and I've ruined your business, so I'm prepared to marry you. I mean, uh, pay you off in full. Mr. Kidley, Prince Alexis Cassandra Michel Smirnoff thanks you. I do not wish to talk like a peasant, but there is something that I must know. Tell me, how soon do you expect to go... Poor Mr. Kidley, there's only 18 days left. Haven't you, poor Mr. Kidley? Yes, any time now. It's good. good. What do you mean, good? Oh, John, dear, there's a little thing known as breach of promise, so you won't mind if I send my lawyers to see you, will you, dear? Oh, that won't be necessary. I've taken care of that in paragraph six. You can go right out and buy yourself a nice, solid gold shooting gallery. Yeah. Oh, John, <laughs> I'm sentimentally touched. I'll see that they put flowers on you every Father's Day. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she probably gets some wholesale. Well, what I want to know Oh, is... shut up, Henry. Mr. Kidley, I guess this just about takes care of everything. <laughs> yes. Now, folks, let's get out of here and leave the two honeymooners alone. Come on, Henry. Well, I'm one of the honeymooners. Oh, shut up and get out of well, here. Well, all of my clothes are... Mr. Kidley, you have promised me to die. I am warning you that I will be around personally to see that you do it. <laughs> Henry? I may call you Henry, mayn't I? Yes, ma'am, and I'll call you Mrs. Markle. Well, Henry, when Mr. Kidney... I mean, when it happens, you'll come into quite a tidy sum, won't you, Henry? Mm, yes, ma'am, I guess I will. Dear Henry, I want you and Mrs. Kidley to be very happy. And if things don't work out, it may make it easier for you to know that there'll always be someone waiting for you. There will? Oh. You're a very attractive man, Henry. I mustn't say any more than that right now. Well, you're kind of pretty yourself, Mrs. Marco. <laughs> That's sweet of you. Oh, Henry, if you don't mind my suggesting it, I could have my lawyers. They're very good. Go over Mr. Kidley's will. I'm just watching out for your interests. Well, doggone it, ma'am, and me just meeting you. That sure is kind. Mighty kind. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Good morning, oh, good morning Jeepers. Jeepers. Your mail, sir, from Bad Gas Fossil. Yeah, just throw it away, Jeepers. Oh, but, sir, there may be something important. Nothing is important, Jeepers, but living. That's the spirit, sir. I noticed a change in you the moment I arrived. Yes, you can thank Mickey for that. Thank you, Mickey. Uh, Mrs. Kidley. Okay, Jeepers. Yes, sir, if I may say so, you're, you're bubbling over, sir. Just bubbling over. That's the coffee, Jeepers. Oh. Uh, Jeepers, will you order some more heavy cream? Very good, sir. One day in springtime, the love dream came true. Mr. Kidley, isn't there something that you get a great big kick out of doing? I mean, there's not much time before you D.I.E. And I just want you to remember these last few days as long as you live. Well, there's one. Let's see. Do you mind if I write on this? It's from that druggist. What druggist? You know, in bad gas washer. He probably wants to sell me something. Kipper a dog. Yeah, yeah, he wants to sell you a dog. <laughs> Say, that's pretty hairdo. Thank you. Well, we're going to figure out right now what to do with your last 18 days. Uh, have you ever seen the Sphinx? No, is it good? Well, we're going to see it. We? Henry, too? No, we don't want him around our Sphinx. He'll only start whittling on it. Sphinx, one day. What's he so sorry about? What's who what? That this druggist. Gee, he sure is sorry. 
and your acidity test mixed with a dog's kipper. Say, I know where we could spend about six days. There must be a bicycle race around here somewhere. Mr. Kidney, listen. Huh? Listen, Kipper, whose name sounds not unlike your own. Mr. Kidley, Kipper's a dog, and you're not. What? Well, I mean, it, it says so right here. You got all mixed up with Kipper. Kippers? I mean, you know, the, listen, listen. I am happy to report that both you and the dog are entirely normal. Mm-hmm. Normal? Oh. Well, you're both all right. Oh, well, sure. Well, I wouldn't yeah. want to buy a dog. <laughs> I'm happy to report that both you and the dog oh, are Kitty, entirely it's, normal. It's wonderful. You're, you're both all right. You're not going to die. Hooray. You're going to live. It's wonderful. It's great. That's marvelous. Or is it? Well, of course it is. Well, I know, but that gang, I, I promised them I was going to kick off. Uh, they're well, going to be sore about this. Well, that, uh, tell them you're only fooling. What, fooling with an Olympic pistol champion and a duelist? Say, if I don't die on time, something serious is liable to happen to me. I, I... Here, now nobody will know anything happened, what it's all about. Now, we won't tell anybody a thing. Oh, Mr. Kidley, uh, now we're really married. Uh -huh. I mean, just like Ma and, and Pa and, and Mrs. Marco and, well, everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, oh, what about Henry? Oh, yeah, Henry. Well, well don't worry about him. I'll, I'll take care of him. Oh. Mr. Kidley. Hello, Henry. Could I speak to you for a moment, please? Why, sure. What's in your mind? Well, it's uh, about Mickey and me, too. I ain't happy again. Why? What seems to be the trouble, Henry? Well, I know you don't like me, and I can't blame you for it. But I like you. Well, Henry, I like you. Well, let me finish, Mr. Kidley. Here you are doing everything for me, and, well, I want you to know that you're one of the finest men I ever met up with. Well, Henry, I'm a... <laughs> I mean, I'm not really like you say at all. Why, Henry, if you only knew me, why, I'd double-cross oh, my own... Mr. Kidley, I won't let you say a word again yourself. I guess I know a man when I see one. I know I'm nothing but a poor bus driver, and, well, you could cut me out with Mickey, well, just like that if you wanted to. Well, I... I don't know, Henry. Things are different now. I mean, I just found out that... Talks, Mr. Kidley. You've done everything to make me and Mickey happy, and, well, I guess you know how I feel about her. I guess you know how I feel about you, too, and, well, that's all. I just had to let it out, except I'd like to shake your hand and tell you how sorry I am for being such a fool suspicion in you. Well, don't worry about a thing, Henry. You're okay. Oh, thanks, Mr. Kidley. Mr. Henry Munch. You know him? Yes, Mom. All right. Here is something for you. Thank you. Hello, Mickey. Oh, Mr. Kidney. I was just going to find you. Uh, look, Mickey. I just... Uh, I've been thinking this whole thing over. I mean, now that I'm going to live and everything, I... It kind of changes the whole setup. It, Kind of puts a different angle on it. I don't know what you mean, Mr. Kidley. Well, after all, we hardly knew each other, and this whole thing was a put-up job. You know, marriage is a serious sort of thing, if you think of it for... You mean you... You don't want to be married to me, Mr. Kidley? Well, it was a lot of fun and everything, Mickey, but for it to be for the rest of our lives, I... You mean you don't love me? Well, frankly, Mickey, I guess I don't. Oh. Naturally, I'll give you the divorce. You won't have any trouble. And after everything's set, you must go back to Henry. Well, it... 
It was nice being married to you, Mr. Kidley. Even if we weren't, really. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's kind of a surprise. I, I mean, I, I, I thought it was gonna... Well, I, I guess that's the way things are with things, huh? Oh, sure. Things have a way of always turning out right, Mickey. Yeah. Well, I'll be seeing you. double-crossed. This dog man, he is without honor. He will be walking the streets alive, breathing the air, listening to the birds, going to the opera, the movies. While I... What will I be doing all that time? Well, unless you do something, starting tomorrow, your highness will be rotting in jail. <laughs> but what is there to do? What is there to do? My friend, there is only one thing. Kretzky, you are even a bigger stinker than I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but that is all very fine. But what good is it for me to make him go? <laughs> if to me they are going... <laughs> Your Highness, you amaze me. It's all very simple. You make it look like an affair of honor. It will not be your first duel. Kretzky? Kidley, he is in the bag. Catch yourself. Yeah, I guess so. Merci. Oh, Mickey. Oh, you're, you're going. I mean, those are your bags? Yes. They're my bags. Well, goodbye, Mr. Kidley. Well, you're really going. Well, goodbye. I, I'll be thinking a lot about you. I'll be thinking about you, too, Mr. Kidney. Mr. Kidney! You have tricked us. Oh, this? Well, you see, Smirnov, I didn't know myself. This is all... That's right. Until yesterday, he thought he was a dog. Really? This is wasting time. Yes. Mr. Kidley, I do not like your face. Yeah, well, if you had a face, I wouldn't like it either. That is an insult, yes? Yes. All right, Mr. Kidley, I challenge you. Oh, now wait a minute, wait a minute. I apologize. And I also apologize for that poke I gave you after the wedding. What are you apologizing for? Don't take that from him. He's trying to pick a fight with me. He wants to shoot me full of holes. Oh, well, well don't get mad at him. Huh? Smile. Something physical. Ah. Mr. Kidley, if I should take this pigeonet and push it in your face, what will you do? Well, I'd get so mad, I'd probably... Oh, mad, Mr. Kidley. Uh, well, sort of mad. Not very. No, I'd be more hurt than anything else. I'd probably go away and never speak to you again. <laughs> Ouch! Why, you... <laughs> there. How do you like that? Not bad. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. Do it to me, Mr. Smirnoff. <laughs> you mean... <laughs> Are they wearing this tight this year? I... I... <coughs> Why, you are to push in your... my what? what? Oh, I mean, you can't make a man, Mr. Smirnoff, no matter what you do. <laughs> See? <laughs> um... Very good-natured. <laughs> 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 
Darcy. Uh, nothing bothers him. Does it? No. <laughs> All right, Mickey. All right, Mickey. I think we sold him. Okay. Hi. <laughs> this time I think up something for myself. Your dessert, Monsieur. Crepe Chisette. Mrs. Kidley, I do not like your shoes. I do not like your dress. And I do not like your hat. Oh, my new hat! How do you like that, Mr. Kidley? Why, you are... Let it go, let it go. Let it go? I, 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 Just a minute. Please send him in here. Now, perhaps, huh? Your Highness, you're a cutie. Everybody is a witness. I have been insulted. Oh, no, you haven't been insulted yet. You have to be good-natured, too. Coffee? Brewing. Uh, cream? Yeah. And asparagus and peas. <laughs> now you have been insulted. Oh, Mr. Kidley, you did it for me. That proves that you do love me. Sure I do, Mickey. But what's the difference now? Now, listen, Smirnoff. We didn't mean it, Mr. Smirnoff. Really, we, we didn't mean to throw all those things on you. Mr. Kidley, my seconds will call on you. We meet at dawn at the Three Dead Oaks. I'm sure I'll never find the place. We will take you there. Did he say dead oaks? Dead oaks. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Kidley. Yes. Please to stand up at that end of the field. That end? His Highness does not like to shoot with the sun in his eyes. Oh, well, that's our... <laughs> How do you like that? That guy Smirnoff kills me. You said it. Hey, he's supposed to be my second. He's supposed to be on my side, isn't he? Pistols. Oh, those are the... <laughs> this way, Spitz. He will be ready soon. Don't hurry him. Very good. Reload, please. Only this time with a little more... <clears throat> Come. What are you doing now? I'm reloading the pistols. With real bullets? Yes, madame. The kind that spread. Uh... Hey. Cheaper, stop shaking. Oh. I, think, I don't know why you worry about this. I'm in great condition, you know that. I, this kind of a thing wouldn't bother me a second. I just... Jeepers. I, you... Ivan, massage the arm there. No, no, massage the trigger finger. <laughs> All right. Mr. Kinley! Oh, John! John, wait! Hey, Jeepers, Juno. Oh, John! Oh, John, dear, these are from us. Uh, me too, Mr. Kidley. Ain't it wonderful? We're going to be married. She swept me right off my feet. Oh, I can't believe it myself, John. He's whittled his way right into my heart. <laughs> yeah, we found the bond you left me, Mr. Kidley. Oh, no, this time it's really love, John. Goodbye, John. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, you got everything all fixed now. Yes. Yeah. All you got to do is to tell him this. There's a cross on the muzzle of the pistol with the bullet on a nick on the handle of the pistol with the blank. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, that's great. Give me that again. There's a cross on the muzzle of the pistol with the bullet on a nick on the handle of the pistol with the blank. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a cross on the muzzle. It is a question of honor. I will call you. And a cross? No. A nick on a bullet. Uh -uh. On the handle. And a... Oh, there's a cross on the muzzle of the pistol with a bullet. And a nick on the handle of the... Courage, sir. Oh, Mr. Kidley. Yes? You're not gonna die. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. You're not gonna be shot. Oh, that's fine. Let's get out of here. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait. Jeepers. Yes? You stand right over here and don't let them see you. Stay oh, right there. No, Miss. Promise me. I, I fixed it, see? You have? When you pick out the gun... Yeah. Remember this. Remember. Yeah. There's a cross on the muzzle of the pistol with a bullet. Yeah. And a nick on the handle... I mean, a nick on the handle... Of the pistol with a blank. Oh, Mickey. 
Uh, Mickey, give me that again, quick. I... Yeah. This... There's a muzzle on the cross of... I mean, the cross on the muzzle of the... Uh, on the... Uh, Mickey, this is my life. I know, I'll save it, I'll oh, save it. I, I, there's a... Uh, don't get excited now. I'm... Kretzky. Kretzky, we cannot lose. Hmm? One of the pistols has no bullet in it. Ah. It is marvelous. But how do you know which one? Oh, it's very simple. There is a cross on the muzzle of the pistol with the bullet, and a nick on the handle of the pistol with the blank. Brilliant, <laughs> Your Highness. Superb. What an idea. A nick on the muzzle of the pistol with the... No, no, no. I said there is a nick on the handle. Your Highness distinctly said a cross on the handle. No, no, I said there is a nick on the bullet on the handle. You see? Attention! The principals will now proceed to the center of the field. Mr. Kidley, please! They're ready for you, sir. All right, all right. I've got it. And a pistol on the nozzle of the pistol with a the blank. There is a cross on the handle of the muzzle with the bullet. No. There is a cross on the handle of the nickel. You see? No, no, no. And a nick on the pulling of the whistle with the blank. Yeah, all right. Stand away. I think I've got it. Yeah. yeah. There's a nos on the crystal of the mistal with the pillet. And a pullet on the nozzle of the nickel with the blank. There's a cross on the puzzle of the mistal with a the bullet. There's a... Gentlemen, select your weapons. There is a nickel on the cross of the pistol. on the handle of the bullet with a pretzel. Here, 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 gentlemen. Come, come. There is a cross on the muzzle of the bullet with the blanket. And a whistle on the panel of the noodle with the cross. Shut up! You shut up! Oh, no, really, gentlemen. This is no time for incantations. Cross! The cross on the muzzle. And a nick on the handle of the pistol with a blank. Yeah, blank. Ah, ah, ah. Ready? Would you like to trade pistols? I'll give you mine and $40, Mr. Smirnoff. Thank you. I am very well satisfied. Yeah, but I can't shoot with mine. I'm left-handed. It will not make any difference which hand you use. Gentlemen, take your places. On the word march, you will... Oh, uh, Your Highness, you dropped your pistol there. You no, just no, 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 you dropped yours. Oh. Uh, oh. Pardon. Gentlemen, retire. On the word march, you will start walking. At ten paces, you will turn and fire. Ready? March. One, two, three. No, 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 oh, oh. Exception. Oh. Doesn't he know the rules? Oh, Mr. Kidley, are you going to go through with this? Or do you wish to be branded as a coward? Yes. Bravo. Yeah. Very well, then. Ready again. March. One, two, three, four, five. Don't hurry. Six, Careful aim. Seven, eight, nine, ten. What kind of blanks are these? Gee, Mrs. Marco, that sure was white of you. And you sure can shoot, too. Always remember that, Henry, my love. Oh, Mr. Kidley! Oh, Mr. Kidley, you did it. You shot the hand right out of his revolver. Yeah. Yeah, imagine what I'd have done to him if I'd have had a bullet in it. Oh, John, you're wonderful. Oh, gee, Mr. Kidley, I, I got so excited, I, I called you John. Oh, that's okay, Mrs. Kidley. Oh.